So today, very exciting, we're going to Dublin. Woo! Maybe. Oh. Because <laughs> I forgot the camera. This oh. is the GoPro, thank God. Basically, I forgot the camera at home. Now my mum is driving from a house to halfway to Gatwick and then we'll collect the camera and then go to Gatwick, but then it means we'll only get to Gatwick an hour before the flight, which hopefully should be fine because it's not international, but I've never done that before. But more exciting, we're gonna go see our friend, James Cavendale, who you might remember from the Barbados trip. He's got a podcast called Would You Eat This Week? And I'm gonna be a guest on his podcast at Dublin Fringe Festival tomorrow, if we make it on time. Worst comes worst, Emma goes, and does the podcast. <laughs> no, worst comes worst, Emma goes, and I wait for my mum, get the camera, and then me and my mum drive to Gatwick and speed and just hope for the best. Because at least then we only have to pay for one flight. But I hope we have to pay for zero flights. There's also a huge accident on the motorway. And I think Ricky is anxiety cleaning the car. Yes. Hi, Ricky. Ricky's stressed. He's well stressed for us. Yeah. Look at him go. Well, we're gonna clean his cabin. Hello. Ah! <laughs> no, it's fine. Just gonna leave it. Imagine it brings the wrong camera. <laughs> Yay! Love you. Thank you. Don't you hug her. We got a flight to catch. <laughs> Forty minutes for that. I'm back. <laughs> um. Emma got randomly checked. It's because I'm like, my bell is in my pocket. Oh. How weird is that? It's because she's Asian. Um, but I didn't get randomly checked, which is fantastic. First for everything. Thank God. We're in Dublin, we made it. We're going to see James go pick us up. And then we're going to go to Carabini. Here's Caravan. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, hey. Hey. Is that that green? Yeah, I've actually got so much green bags. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we are doing our podcast. Yes! It's pretty much sold out. What's it called? Woo! Watch you eat this week. We're doing it in Smock Alley Theatre. And afterwards, we're going to go to the Guinness Storehouse. Um, for a gorgeous little tour, and then we're gonna go to a cocktail bar afterwards. Oh, Nine Below, which you're gonna love. Oh my and god! And then we're gonna find you some boucali. <laughs> some boucali. Do you know what boucali means? No. Ah, <laughs> no, boucali means boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> traumatized. <laughs> Ten minutes in Ireland, I'm traumatized. <laughs> Oh golly. Now kids, we are entering Europe's biggest enclosed park, Phoenix Park. Wow. It's world famous. It's the biggest park in Europe. And this is where Aris on Uchteron is, which is the president's house. Whoa! So Michael D. Higgins, Miggle D. Higgins. Miggle D. Higgins! Miggle D. Higgins, Miggle D. Higgins he lives in Phoenix Park. And also we have the Papal Cross in here, which is this massive white cross where John Paul came in the 70s and the did a big speech. The fashion designer. The Pope. <laughs> <laughs> you were thinking Jean Paul Gaultier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Jean Paul Popier came here <laughs> in the 70s and uh, did a big famous speech. And over here is the American uh, residency. And in the, you'll have to zoom now. Yes. That's Guinness. <gasps> Whoa, that's where we're gonna be. Yeah, that's oh, the Guinness, so Guinness storehouse, which will be there tomorrow. Hello. Oh, oh, good, how are you? Oh, oh, so oh, so oh, you. oh, welcome. Emma, look at this. Oh, they're in there. That is the too much. We're at James and Williams' oh, caravan called Carabeni. It is just so freaking adorable. I've ordered their fresh roasted hazelnut syrup, which they make from scratch, which is ridiculous. I didn't know you could do that. And then we've ordered their smoked chicken sandwich, which apparently is the best one. And I'm so hungry. Disclaimer, it's not normally in these cups. We have gorgeous biodegradable cups. We just ran out of them today. <laughs> oh my God. Nice. Oh my God, that's so good. We were actually surprised how easily wow. it Wow, wait, how, how the hell do you make 
um, a hazelnut syrup. So roast the hazelnuts, sugar syrup, up to the boil, or put the hazelnuts in up to the boil, simmer for 10 minutes, leave their gold cold, fill to the mouth. Wow, um, I thought it was just like a really complicated process. So did I, but no. Wow. Yeah. Quickly tidying up, are we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's always this tiny. Yeah. Welcome to Inside the Kurt Mini Wow. Look, this is actually so cute. Oh. All the like, original um, oh. thingies are here. Wow. From the 70s. Oh. Some other bits. This is our lemonade station. Ooh. So we have uh, citrus juice. Tell me about this. So, well, Anthony made this. I can't uh. take credit. So we have orange, lime, and lemon in yeah. here. And Can we Anthony try it? made those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you not know? lemonade? Yeah, no problem. Seema, tell the lady what the lemonade's like. Oh, oh my god, that's delicious. It's a three, three citrus. My mom's like yeah. salivating. Yes, yeah, so salivating. Yeah. So good. Wow. <laughs> this is the ham one, our first course. Oh my god. I love it when it's really, really full and there's a lot of ham inside. So exciting. Mm. There's so much filling. Mm. There's so much filling and it's so hearty. That's really good. Lots of mustard. I think all sandwiches need some sort of like pickly bit. Yeah. And the mustard is fantastic. So I've just got the crusty bit here. The bread is so good. Can you see the, all the like the little bits? It tastes like sourdough. Yeah. It's really, really good bread. Mmm. So this is a Mara smoked chicken, which means it's from Cork. It has Aragon pickled gooseberry mayo. My mouth is salivating just thinking about that. And a slaw. Oh my God. Mmm. There's dill in here and fennel. I've never had a sandwich with a fennel store and like dill and stuff with chicken. It's so good. It's really, really fresh. You can taste everything in it. You can taste the pickled Sorry. stuff. Yeah, your course is coming hot and fast now. Ah. I have the goji shang toasty. Oh. I figured you'd probably bread it out as a salad, so I gave you half of mm. half. Thank you. Yeah. So I leave that there. Because the last sandwich is their gochujang sandwich. Same cork, ham, and cheese. Oh my god, look. Mm. Oh, it's such a good crunch. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god. That's so good. Oh. But it's a bit sweet, a bit spicy. It's so crispy and juicy. Mm. Uh, it's really, really good. Mm. Fantastic. I'll drop you to your hotel now. Okay. Yeah. We've just found out that James's brother, as much as we love James. <laughs> He's way more famous. <laughs> this is his gym. SBG. And he is Conor McGregor's trainer. And he invented he was... Conor McGregor. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Chris that's... Martin was here. Yeah, that's him in the... And my brother's trained Will Smith in LA a few, few months ago. Yeah. I'm saying there's some, uh, there's some bootly up there. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello, give us a wave. You won! So we are so full for all of Cara Bunny's delicious food. James has just dropped us off into the hotel. We're staying in the Devlin. It is so beautiful. They even gave us some water. The people are so, so friendly. Ooh! So cute! A sofa bed, chocolate truffles. This is a fancy mini bar. This is, this is really fancy. Yeah, it's that's more really fancy. fancy. And smeg. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. I'm gonna take a nap. Bye. <laughs> so we just napped and did some work and did some editing, and now we're gonna get a drink before we see James for our meal for some seafood food. Seafood food. For some seafood. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Oh my god, that's actually fine. <laughs> So we're actually by the sea. I didn't even know Dublin was by the sea, but it is. And there's a lot of it. There's a gin called Dingle Gin. Dingle Gin. Yeah, with poachers, that's a nice uh, mixer, Irish mixer. Yeah. Every, do you know what I love? Is that everything is like Irish. Do you know what I mean? Very, very oh, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
What does it mean? Sorry? When you're ready. We just need one more place setting, I think. We're missing a bench bench. Ooh, okay. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I'm so salivating. Uh, oh, I love like ordering lobs for that. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, these prawns are so good. Are they? But do you even like prawns are really good? They're sweet. Yeah. That's what I like. That butter is so good. Wow. Fat crab pork. I'm in heaven. Mm. There's so much meat on the crab. Seafood isn't known for Dublin, but it's so good. Ireland in general. Yeah. Oh, it's not Dublin, sorry, Ireland. Yeah. I mean, what else? It's not. Oh my god, what eat? The here is amazing. Yeah, unreal. Ooh, that was fantastic. That was so good. All the food and seafood was so fresh. We've demol we didn't think we would, but we demolished literally every morsel of food. I was like, doggy bag. <laughs> it all tastes fantastic, but I, I would recommend vegetables. So we're gonna take a sneak peek in his kitchen. This gives me PTSD. Garlic butter. Oh my god. I don't think I take that spoon. Wait! Whoa! Yeah, so it works on a live enzyme. So it's like a living thing. It's like sourdough starter. Wow! So, yeah. so the more you feed it and the hotter you keep it and stuff. So it sits at 70 degrees. So you have like virtually no waste? Yeah, no food waste. Wow! So everything, everything goes in. So we put it into these are the old oyster boxes. So we just fill them up every day and then we leave them outside and just customers take them for their gardens. Wow. Oh, real. Yeah. That was a very, very fancy compost bin. I love it. Zero waste. Oh, you love this thing. <laughs> this controls oh. the heating. <laughs> I can't, wow. wait. I can't wait for Emma to meet. <laughs> oh my god, Dad can't be Dad's We're gonna go home because tomorrow's the podcast. big podcast day! On stage. Cheers, slant chop. You say slant chop in Ireland. Slant chop. <laughs> Morning! So today is podcast day, very, very exciting. The dinner yesterday was so good, so much fresh seafood. A lot of restaurants around Dublin have their own boat to catch fish for their restaurant. I didn't even know there was so much fresh fish in Dublin. I didn't know it was known for it, but I guess it makes sense because there's so much water, but you don't think of like Dublin and fish, but huge correlation and it's fantastic and it's delicious. We're gonna get some breakfast now. I got the McSwiggin. She's done that before. <laughs> Guys, this hotel has a beehive. Wow. I really, really, really want to go inside a bee, like wear the bee mask, the bee suit, and live my bee movie fantasy. Maybe I need a bee man. <laughs> so Emma doesn't know what coddle is. Coddle is like one of the national dishes of Ireland. Everyone keeps saying that, like they don't like it. Genuinely, it sounds really, really good to me. Cause I think I make a version of coddle for dinner, which is just like, chicken stock or like water and chicken powder, cabbage and then like sausage meat just goes straight into it. But everyone's like, oh my God, the sausages aren't even like brown. They just put straight in the water. But like, that's how you make soup. So I think it's gonna be great. But the thing I am interested in, I'm curious to see how much it costs because it's meant to be a super, super cheap thing to make when you pretty much don't have anything in the house to like make ends meet. So interested to see how much it'll cost. They have Coke Vanilla Zero. Wow, I love Coke Vanilla. Oh, Lilt. Oh. Okay, Lilt is so good. I love Lilt. Yeah, oh, wait, what's that? Is that exotic? Like Fanta Exotic. Oh, that is, that's Club Orange. Club Orange. I don't even want them, but I have to try it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take them to the Guinness factory. <laughs> hey, Ty. Potatoes. Hi, Potato. 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 No, you're nice uh. on Indian. Uh, I wish all coffee shops also did bone broth because I would much prefer, much prefer bone broth in the morning than coffee or tea. For any hot drink. All my hot drinks are on bone broth. Mm. Oh, that's so nice. It's very vegetable-y. This is. This is where James goes to buy his food. He says it's like the Waitrose of Dublin. It feels very, very waitrose already. It's funny, back in the day, when I was like 10, I really wanted to make these pumpkin cookies and they didn't have this and I wanted to make it in like February. So me and my dad drove around for like three hours in Southall to find a pumpkin, to roast it, then mash it to make pumpkin cookies. They're, they're really, really good pumpkin cookies. 
Oh my god! Oh my god, we're gonna get these. The kiwi berries! So they look like kiwis on the inside. They look like the outside of a mango. Oh, that's so cute. Wow. They taste like kiwi. The mix between a kiwi and a grape. The skin is a little bit bitter and a bit tough. Wow. I'm looking around chicken. Wow. Oh my god, that chicken. Oh that smells so nice. Also, it's like when like raw meat looks nice, it's so rare. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like the, it's raw. What's that chicken like? Like I wanna eat it raw. I won't. But I could. Oh my god. Passion fruit, passion fruit pie. I think the passion fruit margaritas you can make. Where's it? No, cornstar margaritas you can make with this. So, fun fact about this this is marshmallow fluff. When I was, see, when I was like 10 and 12, all this stuff wasn't like available anywhere because it wasn't like a thing. So, I used to make this at home with egg whites and sugar because I was just so excited to try it. And then I used to make homemade marshmallow fluff and then use that to fill cupcakes when I was like 13. <laughs> this is hazelnuts. Green cob nuts. Cob nuts are a civilized variety of our wild native hazelnuts. How do you use it? They're really nice. Just chuck a bit of olive oil and sea salt down with them. They're rocking. You have to peel them. They're kind of white and they're white and a little bit milkier. Ah. So they're kind of more like an almond texture, yeah. but they And how long will they last like this? If you leave them like that, they'll turn into the dark hearts hazelnuts oh. by themselves. Will they last like four days? Oh, okay. I love it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make William's hazelnut syrup using these. Oh my god, it's gonna make such a good TikTok. Oh, I'm so happy. I love the noise. I wanna give Miso hooves so she makes that noise. She really does. She, does like, she makes a little tip tapping noise. Yeah. I want to accentuate it because that's like the best. That's like the best bit of having a dog is their noises. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrifying. I'm gonna vomit. This is so scary. Well, who knows if people will show up? So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> finished the podcast. James, how did it go? Good. How did I do? Over 10 people came. So. <laughs> I think it went really well. James's parents were flipping hilarious and it was so much fun to do. I think it's so much different doing a podcast when you have the person there because it's so much easier to bounce off and actually laugh and enjoy yourself. I think the Irish are the funniest people that there are. I've never met a non-funny Irish person, so there you go. Everyone else, step up your game. <laughs> And now we are going to go to the Guinness factory and have loads and loads of drinks. Actually, when you're walking around the factory at certain times, it smells like almost chocolate because the ah, lots are roasting. Yeah. So that's the Guinness harp, which actually we as a state stole as our symbol. And Guinness were like, yeah, you can have it, no problem, but just flip it. So if you see the president's head in paper, it's the Guinness harp, but flip it. Wow. Awfully bitter, but this is quite nice. Yeah. I think it is better in Dublin. Yeah. Ireland. Ireland. 1837. So we're just at the restaurant at the top of the Guinness Museum. It's called 1837, and we're gonna eat loads of food. Maybe Guinness flavored, I guess. This. This is your veggies, my friend. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so nice. Thank you. Thank you. I'm with the wings. I'm gonna say that's great, but like the wings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Just for you, darling. I'll do my best. I want to try the wing thing where you take the, these off. Oh. Thank you. Everything okay for you? Thank you. We got points on martinis. Pasta, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, 
delicious. Yeah, thank you. Good. I knew you were going to order those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the like carrots are so cute. No, it's just like... Yeah. Because we were talking about making it. I know, I yeah. know. You convinced me. This is the iconic Guinness stew. Yeah, that's very nice, very melt in the mouth. Is it always with mashed potatoes? Oh, it's just some form of potato anyway. Yeah, I think so. Is anyone watching that new... Mmm. Um... Oh my god, that's really good. It's just very good. Uh, Seema, do you want to taste some of my shortbread? Oh my god, I love it. Do you want like, some Guinness stew? I've got a couple of little spoons, yeah. Oh, fuck me, this is so good. Oh, I'm having such a good time right now. Mmm. <laughs> this, this food's really, really good. Mm. Usually, like, museum food's not right, but this yeah, is like, Yeah, I know, I always say really that. This is really good. It's Kalua, yeah, they do. Oh, it's Kalua, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. Oh, well, thank yeah, you so I much. Did. Cheers. 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 Oh, Yum. Mother's milk. Oh, oh it's it's so delicious. Good. Mother's milk. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to James Kavanagh's Irish Quiz! <laughs> Tara, Tara's the glamorous assistant. First question. What park did you drive to Phoenix. yesterday? Phoenix. Phoenix what? Phoenix Park. Phoenix, let me. <laughs> no, Phoenix what? <laughs> Phoenix Park. Phoenix Park. <laughs> I was just trying to, <laughs> trying to confuse you. Okay, next question. Come on, let's go. Right. Who lives in the Phoenix Park? Higgledy! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Higgledy Biggledy! Mr. Higgledy Biggledy! President Higgledy Biggledy! President Higgledy Biggledy! For extra points, who is the president of Ireland? Mr. Biggins. No, Mr. Biggins. Why do you should get the shit? Bilbo right. Biggins. Bilbo <laughs> Biggins. Michael. Yes! Oh shit. Yeah. A letter. A letter. B. Biggins. Next. D. Yes. C. Biggins. Dick 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 Dick. Biggins. D. Higgins. 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 I fing heard it all. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, Michael D. Higgins. Michael D. Higgins. Do you know who his daughter is? Sarah D. Higgins. I don't even know who his daughter is. <laughs> Maura Higgins. No, oh. she's not. She's not. She's not. Oh. This <laughs> final question. What is the name of the river in Dublin? No. Liffy. Liffy. Yeah. <laughs> Which means life. Yeah. Yes. That's the end of James Cavanaugh's quiz. Okay, so we're in some bar. I don't know. Where's it called? Grogan's. Grogan's. Okay. We're in Grogan's. So Grogan's is like a classic, like Dublin bar. Everyone goes here. Young, old, rich, poor. It's just uh, the middle of Dublin. It's life. It's like the best place, and you can get really. Sh Toasties here, uh, which are like the best thing to get in a bar. They're like sliced pan, sheep cheese, cheap ham, toasted. They are the best things ever. What the heck? Toasty, the best. Oh no, it's oh, the you best. Have to put mayonnaise and mustard. You have to put the condiments on it. Okay. No, you don't want to do it. It has to be like really good. <laughs>